welcome to our family room. I am excited to see you, even though it's on a screen, to see you today. And I wanted to take some time and read a story to you. This is by Michael Waite. And I bought this a long, long time ago, and I am happy to share this with you today. So I'm going to start with a story within this book called Susie Swoof. So here we go. In trees that toppled the tallest roofs, there lived some people known as swoofs. They built their houses up so high because swoofs had wings and liked to fly. They flew to school. They flew for play. Most swoofs liked it fine that way. Except a little swoof named Susie. Flying made poor Susie woozy. When she tried to leave the ground, her head just started spinning round. She got so scared her wings just stopped. Down she fell and then kerplop. And all the swoofs up in the trees would point at her and laugh and tease. The meanest of them all was Ruth. Oh, how she picked on Susie Swoof. She made up names like Scaredy Swoof and Chicken Wings and Swoof the Goof. When Susie asked if she could play, Ruth would tell her, go away. Worse than that, Ruth told her friends, ignore that Swoof Goof if you can. Don't talk to her, don't let her play, just laugh at her and fly away. That would make poor Susie cry. How she wished that she could fly. The other swoofs had so much fun. They had friends, but she had none. And since she was afraid to fly, she couldn't have a house up high. Her little home was on the ground all alone, but safe and sound. There came a cloudy summer day when all the swoofs went out to play. Susie heard some swoof kids say, let's pack a picnic lunch today. We'll lie on blankets in the sun. We'll play some games. Won't that be fun? Then Ruth saw Susie down below. She didn't even say hello. Instead, she shouted, scaredy swoof, and they flew over Susie's roof. Away they went across the sky, leaving Susie swoof to cry. Feeling lonely, sad, and sick, she gave a little stone a kick and started walking toward the woods. She thought a walk might do her good. She went to where the meadow lies when something took her by surprise. There they were, all in a bunch, the swoof kids with their picnic lunch. They laughed and danced and played swoof tag. They played swoof ball and snatched the flag. Susie watched them from the woods. She would have joined them if she could, but Ruth was out there, mean old Ruth, and she'd be cruel to Susie Swoop. So there she stayed beneath the trees, peeking through the twigs and leaves. Suddenly, across the sky, a big black cloud came rolling by. The sky grew darker than the night. It gave the Swoop kids quite a fright. The giant trees began to sway. The swoof kids packed their things away. The raindrops fell. The wind grew strong. They tried to fly, but not for long. The stormy sky just spun them round and sent them tumbling to the ground. Down the pounding raindrops poured. Lightning cracked and thunder roared. The little swoofs just sat and bawled. And mean old Ruth bawled worse of all. But Susie Swoof was not afraid. She liked to play out in the rain. She put her big rain bonnet on and ran across the meadow lawn. She helped the swoofs up cheerfully and shouted, Come on, follow me. Underneath the stormy sky, they ran to Susie's house to dry. She lit a fire and brought them tea and made them toasty as could be. But still their tears went on and on. You're safe, said Susie. What is wrong? We're safe, sniffed Ruth, but now we're sad. You've been so kind, but we've been bad. We've called you awful, horrid names. We never let you play our games. And now you've saved us from the storm. You gave us tea 
and made us warm. Please forgive us if you can. We'll never be so mean again. This made Susie Swoof so pleased. She gave them each a giant squeeze. I forgive you, Susie said. She smiled until her cheeks turned red. From that day on, the Swoofs were kind and Susie wasn't left behind. They made up games that she could play and many, many friends were made. Best of all was mean old Ruth. She now was kind to Susie Swoof. She even made an all out try at teaching Susie how to fly. She failed, of course, but in the end, they became the best of friends. Isn't that a great story? Susie Swoof. I love that she forgave Ruth, even though Ruth was really, really unkind to her. This makes me think of a verse in Galatians 5, 22 to 23. And I bet a lot of you out there know this in a song. Here we go. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against such things, there is no law. Now, we are in an interesting time right now, and I bet you are spending a lot of time at home, maybe a lot of time inside. For those of you that have brothers and sisters, you're spending an extra amount of time with them. And I think this lesson is really good. It's a good reminder for all of us of the importance of being kind to others. And now is the best time for us to practice kindness with our families. So I have a challenge for you. I want you to think and pray about how you could do one kind thing for everyone in your house within the next couple days. Did you get that? One kind thing for everyone in your house. Mom, dad, brothers, sisters, maybe even your pet. One kind thing for everyone in your house today. And then you might even feel like expanding that and doing a kind thing for a neighbor. Hmm, I wonder what you're going to come up with. I bet it's going to be awesome. Let me pray for us, okay? Dear God, thank you so much for this story that we've been able to read today. Thank you for the reminder of forgiveness, first of all, and also the reminder to be kind to others. Lord, I ask your blessing on every family, every kid, everyone that's watching this. And Lord, that you would give us your ideas on how to show kindness to others. Lord, thank you for the rest of your fruit of the Spirit, too. This may be a time when we especially need lots of patience and self-control. Lord, thank you that you are the one that can give, you the, give us those things. All we need to do is ask. In Jesus' name we pray. And all God's children said... Amen. Have a great day.